Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our prayer transition with our heavy steel mace so we can link it to a 360. In modern steel mace, modern steel mace have shorter handles than traditional gattas, and that's great because it allows us to do a lot of stuff with them that kind of isn't super obvious if you're using really long handle traditional gattas. The one we're going to talk about today is kind of the simplest transition there is, which is called the prayer transition. When we use our mace, normally maces and clubs are used with our hands at the bottom. Modern steel mace allows us to start doing things like prayer transitions. Prayer transition, lock out your elbow at the bottom. Don't do that bodybuilder thing where you try to keep tension. It's only gonna mess you up in the long run. Straighten your arm all the way out. Drive your shoulder blade down, stand up nice and tall. Squeeze your glutes so that your body's not doing weird rocking. If we squeeze our glutes and our abs have to do most of the stabilization of this movement, then we're not gonna get it from the sway of our bone structure. From here, we're going to slide our hands up, and this is why we call it the prayer transition. We're in this prayer position, we transition to our other hand, and we go to the other side. Lock out, drive your shoulder down and back. Stand up nice and tall. Your hands are in the same position that they would be in for a 360, and that 360 is going to allow us to go to this prayer transition. Lock out. Your palm is facing towards you at the top of this movement. Slide your hand down, go around the head, palm faces towards you, lock out your arms. So when this starts to get at speed, we use this very simple prayer transition, which by itself is a pretty cool movement. Think about this as the probably a super functional version of doing a bicep curl and now slide it, turn it into a 360, maintain contact with your mace, and keep moving. What's really fun about mace is all of these fun transitions. I really like this transition because you can do it with your eyes closed. The point is, is that we are maintaining contact with the mace as we go through this movement, and we could do it with our eyes closed. So we're building up our kinesthetic sense of awareness. Where am I in space? Where is my tool in space? Am I doing it properly? Boom, I can feel it. I've hit arm lock, my shoulder blade is down. As I come up, I slide, maintaining contact with my hands. Go to the other side, slide, and <sighs> look super cool. That's because it is super cool. Work this very simple prayer transition, lock out your arm at the bottom. I like kind of a 90 degree, zero degree. I like a kind of a 45, 40 degree angle at the bottom with that full lockout. At the top, maintain your contact, get to here, and learn to build that sense of awareness. Here, my club should be at a 45 degree angle across my body. Think of it kind of like a seat belt. This palm is facing away from you so that you can move through these movements nice and smooth and slow, or you could do them fast, and these things start to link us from beyond our 360 into more complex forms of movement over time. I recommend people buy a 10 and a 15 pound if you're male first, and if you're female, then I recommend you buy a seven pound and a 10 pound mace. So the two maces I recommend people work with, I recommend you start and you start doing these basic drills for a minute each, and then go to the other side for a minute, and then start with your transitions for a minute, working through a minute at a time, and then you can build this up into an unending cycle that lasts for, you know, 60 minutes where you don't put it down and the weight doesn't stop moving the entire time. These things start to get real dicey when you bump it up to a 30 pound or above, anything above 25 pound for this complex stuff is pretty crazy. And getting uh, that initial pull starts to get real rough. And you wanna make sure that you've practiced enough with the light weight that you know where the weight is. Cause if you catch this thing wrong or it's, uh, 
It'll pull you out of alignment and beat you up pretty quickly. For this prayer transition, like all things, think about your elbows. We want to get all the way to straight. Focus on your transitions. This one allows us to roll our shoulder blade back and down. At the bottom, connect with your lat. As you bring it up, keep the lat on. Move through the movement patterns. Get back to your lockout. Anytime you're in lockout, drive your shoulder down and fire that lat. This starts to get into really martial arty looking things, and that's good because maces are martial arts. You can say that they're exercise, and I tell people that they're exercise all the time, but really clubs and maces are really martial arts because you are practicing all of the proto movements that make us very human. Going around the body, creating power, learning to move, learning to transition and making everything equal between both sides of your body. Your brain works, you know where things are in space, and you do it over and over and over again. Anybody who practices any type of martial art should do this. Anybody who doesn't practice martial arts should definitely do this because your brain doesn't do martial artsy things, but martial arts are the thing that the brain is designed to do. They're designed to not get hit, calculate speed, distance, and timing, hit things, and get away. The more mace you do, the better off you will be at that basic, basic, basic human thing. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.